Okay, well, we'll start this out with a name brand everybody knows and loves, or doesn't, depends on who you are. Wilton WS6. Uh, these are your cheap Wiltons. This isn't your machinist vice. But again, these guys come in anywhere between two and 300 bucks, depending on where you are, and depending on what time of the year you buy it at, so on and so forth. Uh, they are very basic as far as a vice goes. It is a six inch vice. Um, it has got friction swivel locks on the base here. Uh, not really my favorite because you can lock that down and you can hit this hard enough to still move it. I've done it before, I've done it plenty of times actually. I got this vise, came with this table. I uh, bought this table at auction about a year, almost two years ago, somewhere in there. Obviously this vise has seen more use than just me. I'm sure this has been on here as long as this table's been around. And it's been well loved, well used, well beaten on. Uh, it's missing a jaw. One's welded on there, you know, it, it is what it is, handle's bent, so there's nothing really wrong with this. Um, you can buy one of these and they'll pretty much for any home hobbyist use, they'll hold up. You know, even this was actually, this came out of a production shop, so it should tell you that it's good enough for shop use, it'll get you by. Uh, one thing also I don't like about these, these are non-sealed. Right, which means you can look back in here and you can see the screw, the lead screw, and all that. In a shop environment, it's not a big deal, but if you're gonna be using something on the road, uh, that'll make a difference. Non-replaceable pipe jaws, these are just integrated into the cast iron. Nothing really great about that. Nothing, uh, nothing stands out. You can see where these have been rolled over because somebody's put a piece of pipe in there, <clears throat> me, and tried to turn it, and that piece of pipe was harder than the cast iron jaws and shredded them. Again, nothing specifically wrong with this Wilton. Go ahead and buy one if you really want to buy one. But uh, for about anywhere between 50 to 100 bucks less, you can nail yourself a way better vice from Harbor Freight. So we'll go take a look at that. Alrighty, there might be a little bit of wind noise and we might hear a car go by because we're out on the street. Uh, this is a six, or six inch Doyle vice. Uh, actually, I believe the jaw width is six and a half, believe it or not. And this is 200 bucks. Out the door, 200 bucks, and it is a way, way, way nicer vise for what you get. Uh, first things first, I like the rubber stoppers. I, it's, that's a stupid thing to say, but I really like that. Um, secondly, this is a fully sealed vise, which means no dirt can get inside the lead screw or in the mechanism. There is a seal that's in here. Usually there's like just a grease seal. And this whole assembly is packed back and sealed at the back with a steel cap. So uh, props to them. A fully sealed vise is really important, especially this actually goes on my welding ring. So other things, uh, it's got hardened jaws. They're not the hardest in the world. I don't have like a Mohs hardness scale or anything like that, so I couldn't tell you exactly how hard they are. A file sort of skates on top, but not quite. It'll leave marks. Uh, they are replaceable. You can buy new ones from Harbor Freight. That is, was an important thing for me. And right there, replaceable pipe jaws. These are hardened as well. That was a big thing as well. Um, the mechanism is pretty tight for the most part. Okay, so one more thing I don't really like uh, that I've had to deal with, oh, I like and I don't like, it's kind of a double-edged sword, is the rotating base is a toothed base, which means on the bottom of this jaw, this side has a bunch of little teeth in it, right, that point down, like kind of like gear teeth, and the bottom of the lead screw, the T-screw, has a tooth that goes the other way. And the reason for that is so that when you lock this down, like right now, even though I have it a little loose, I can't spin it. I have to actually get this quite loose and be able to essentially drop those teeth out from the other set and then it rotates freely. It's just another reason or another way for keep this to keep the locking uh, mechanism locked when you lock this guy in. So it's kind of annoying because you got to really undo these quite a ways but you know what? It's not the end of the world.
but compared to that Wilkin, this is only 200 bucks. Actually, it's less with the coupon. So, if you're in the market for a vice, I really think this is the best one you can buy for the money. Uh, hands down. It's not super cheap. This isn't the $50 one you buy at Runnings or you buy at Tractor Supply. But it's got quality features to it. And it comes in at a price that's still relatively affordable. So if you're just starting out or, you know, you're looking to, like, kit something out on the cheap and you don't want to spend $1,300 on a Wilton Machinist vise, this right here, I think, is your best bet. It's a sealed vise, good quality parts, hardened jaws. That's the kind of stuff that you look for in a vise anyways. Um, and it really just stands out. I mean, the weight of it, the feel. Like I said, I've used it a couple times already in holding some pieces, bending stuff over on the job. It really is for bang for buck the best out there i really think harbor freight has stepped up their game quite a bit in that respect uh gone are the i mean you could still buy the really cheap ones but gone are the days of them being super duper cheap their prices have come up but the quality has come up exponentially in that respect so there's kind of a quick overview review between the two uh again nothing really wrong with the wilton it does work it does its job but for the price this does a better job and I think this is honestly will last you a whole lot longer. But there you go. That's my honest review between the two.